guys welcome back to another video so today I have something different um, I have been pouring on canvas the entire time uh, and I actually got uh, excuse the dog barking it's kind of really noisy around here um, so I got this new idea because I just got myself some piece, small pieces of glass as you can see I don't know the dimension probably uh, 15 by 20 uh, so yeah let's just do a uh, Dirty pour, a flip cup, sorry, a flip cup on a piece of glass and let's see how it goes. Um, the color, I got uh, sky blue, gold, turquoise, iridescent pink. And phthalo blue. Let's see if it can pick up. Okay, this is phthalo blue. Uh, so let's get it going. It's actually, I mix it with water, a little bit of art made medium, and three drop of silicone treadmill oil. So here we go.
So um, I just take a sneak peek underneath uh, the mirror on the other side. Uh, so the main idea of this experiment is that I want to see what's going on to the paint that is underneath, like on the on the side that is facing the canvas. So I decided to place a camera underneath the glass to see what's going on. So this is what we got. Um, this is the top side, your cell, and the gold actually turns out pretty good. We lose, we did lose a lot of the pink, but it's okay. And for the under, the underneath the glass, um, it's just uh, it has this sort of effect of a splattered paint. Hi guys, uh, so here we are. Uh, I did this piece yesterday. Um, I left it to dry, and you know, uh, here in Cambodia it's pretty hot, so it's just like probably take like one day, or less than one day, to dry. So let's see. As you can see, uh, some of the pink did pop, did come up. Uh, but not that much. We ended up. Oh, there's uh, some pink around here, but you can't see. I don't think the camera will catch it. Uh, there's some pink laying on the table too, but that's just about it. We lost just about all of the pink. And uh, let's take a look at the underside. So, as you can see, the gold actually stays mostly at the bottom. Uh, this area here is actually matching with the area on top right here where there's the small gold line which mostly is what I prefer as a style because this is a blue heavy pour and I wish to have the gold as sort of a separator between all the blue shades between all the blue cells and I, I did get what I wanted um, so I've always wondering what happened to the color that I added and then ended up having turned into this all these small line. So I got the answer now with this experiment as most of the color actually stays underneath the main color which is the blue. As we also see phthalo blue, most of the phthalo blue actually got trapped underneath too. This area right here is equivalent to this area where um, the phthalo then shows up. Uh, most of the phthalo actually shows up around this area, this and this side. Uh, this is mostly the, oops, I got my hand dirty right there. There's some part, probably from the cup. Um, this area that um, are basically sky blue and turquoise. So yeah. Um, um, from experience, this might be caused by the paint consistency the difference between let me uh, try to get all these cut back up so I can put the glass uh, this might be caused by um, the difference between paint consistency and um, that leads to one uh, oh sorry for the shaking um, which lead to uh, oh, excuse my neighbor uh, there's a lot of kids um, so let's get back to the subject. It's caused by pain consistency, which lead play a role in some pain going underneath the other. So yeah, that's all I know, and that this is what we get from this experience. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next one.